difficulties or misfortune? Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. If you are here, you are here for day six of the seven days of fortitude. If you are just joining us, I will put an I card right here for you to access the whole entire playlist so you can get caught up. Today's word, adversity. If you remember, my very first video within this series is called Resilience. I talked about how that word, resilient, was bestowed upon me by the adults in my life, and then it became a word that I identified with moving forward. Adversity is something that people also said that I dealt with or that I overcame. When I look back at my experiences, I never really thought of it as adversity until people started telling me I got an award in high school on my graduation day. It was the Founders Award for overcoming so many obstacles and overcoming adversity, showing much drive and motivation. When I graduated from college, I, I received another award. It was called the Eyes on the Prize Award for overcoming adversity. One thing that I do know for sure, adversity develops character. I would not be who I am today had I not experienced the things that I did. Yes, it was hard. Yes, it was painful. Yes, there were some times that I did not even want to get out of bed, but I got through it. And I think that's the most important part. If I could share anything with you is the ability to press through is so vital because things are gonna happen. Things that we like and things that we don't like. Sometimes we need to shift our mindset around this from why me and oh gosh, this is horrible to what am I learning from this? In this space of discomfort that I am experiencing, in this season right now, I know that it's not gonna last always. I know that joy comes in the morning. I know that very soon it will be a new day, it will be bright outside and I can start over, but in the meantime, what is it that I can learn and take with me for the next time? What is it that I can share with others to help them through their tough season? It builds character. There's no testimony without a test. We need to go through things in order to learn some things. I know sometimes my mom would say, I want to share this with you. I want to tell you this. I want to keep you from making this mistake. Well, we're going to make mistakes and we have to learn from them. Don't just make a mistake and get in trouble without learning anything from it. Sometimes we have to alter our behavior. It may not be comfortable, it may not be something we want to do, but in order to receive the outcome that we want, we need to adjust. Operating in a space of comfort, in a space where things are going well, that's easy. But what do we do when we are uncomfortable? What do we do when we're standing in the face of difficulty or challenge? Do we give up? Are we rude to everyone around us because we're having a bad day? Do we numb out or self-medicate to try to suppress? Or do we just ignore it and act like it's not happening? I'm fine. I'm good, I'm a positive person. I'm not gonna dwell on this. Well, recognizing it is not dwelling on it. Ignoring it does nothing to help us. Face it and know that you'll be stronger because of it. In dealing with adversity, please do be excited in knowing that good days and good experiences are coming. If you get caught up with such a tight fist because you're upset, because this is happening to you, because you're hurt, because you're angry, because someone lied on you, because someone did something that you are holding on to, if we are holding on so tight to those negative things that have happened, we are not opening our hand to receive God's blessings for us. We're not opening our hand to receive the fact that somebody might want to give us a job, that someone wants to promote us, that someone wants to enter into our life to make it better, that someone has something to teach us, that just because they treated you this way doesn't mean this person will. When we have our hands open 
we are able to receive. We are able to press forward. We are able to move on. Things happen in life. It's part of life. But how will you deal with it? Turning those stumbling blocks into stepping stones. What's your story? Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for the last day. It's day seven already of the seven days of fortitude. I'll see you then.